so it's 5.30, 5.40 in the morning and I'm on my way to Richmond Park. It's about three degrees, so I'm definitely feeling freezing. Uh, so the plan is to get to Richmond Park for sunrise, uh, for golden hour that is, and then take some photos with Kodak Gold. I know, I know, it's not the, it's not the best of white place, but, but that's all I got. Did I say I'm freezing? <laughs> it is a really pretty morning though. Like, the sky is very clear, so I'm looking forward to it. Go, it's green for the bicycle man.
that's kind of it. Uh, I did take one more shot on the second roll, so that's 17 shots today. Um, and, and I'm going to call it a day. I might finish the rest of the roll with some portraits. But yeah, I think I'm just going to sit here for some time and take it all in before I head back. So the portraits did not happen because the model got COVID. Seems like everyone here has COVID these days. And this is not a full review on Kodak Gold. It was never intended to be. I was just super excited at the idea of shooting a more financially accessible medium format film stock and, and wanted to make a fun video shooting it in a couple of different scenarios. Hence landscapes, which I'm more familiar with and portraits, which you know I'm getting into more these days. Um, but yeah, I think portraits will have to wait for now shooting in Kodak Gold, I mean. Um, but yeah, the, the idea for this video was that I was going to do an observational skit at the beginning and then suddenly I'll break the fourth wall, kind of a little vlog style, and then it would go back to observation and then breaking the fourth wall again, so going back and forth. Um, and for that, I thought it would be fun to kind of talk to you while I'm riding my bike. So I had a, those of you that follow me on Instagram might have seen that I had a rig, basically iPhone 13 Pro, you know, rigged to my bike's front tray. And one thing that I didn't consider while testing that was the fact that for this video, I'll mostly be riding in the dark before sunrise. So the footage you're seeing is not the best. I'm not happy with it, but I shot it and I think for this video it'll have to do. Uh, I hope Matt Diavala is happy because I'm trying to not let perfect be the enemy of good. Um, I think that's what he says. Anyway, in terms of photos, I normally try and share all the shots I take for the video, but again, in this one, four shots didn't make it. I just didn't feel like it added anything more to the video or to the collection of the images. and. And one of them is out of focus, which entirely was my fault. Um, the viewfinder indicator blinked to say it's not in focus. And yet I went ahead and pressed the shutter like the idiot I am because I was just really, really excited that day to be out there and shooting in, in those conditions. And then scanning the negatives. I've been spending more time on it recently as that part of the process plays an important role in how my images look when shared on social media at least. And to that end, I think I'm going to get lost in the world of scanning for a while now and potentially make a detailed video on different types of scanning, their respective pros and cons, that kind of stuff. If you or anyone you know works in a lab and would be interested in sharing what they know in my video, preferably in the UK so that I can be physically present to make the video, but anywhere in the world is fine too. Um, please do let me know as I would love to bring knowledge from people that do this day in and day out to everyone that's watching. And that way we can all learn together, you know, including myself. The other side of scanning, you know, printing my negatives, which again, I've never done before. Saying that out loud sounds really weird. I mean, I, I work mainly in a physical medium and that's part of the appeal to me. So, um, the fact that I've not held a single print of any of my film photos is a bit weird. Uh, I am saying it multiple times to psych myself up because I'm pretty sure that that's going to end very soon because I think the idea of holding a physical print of a photo that I made is definitely taking over me. Uh, some of the photographers that I admire and are friends with already practice darkroom printing or just now getting into it. And so I think it'll be a fun thing to do together as well. Uh, again, maybe expect a video on it at some point. Um, I know this is supposed to be a Kodak Gold video. Um, I mean, in my very, very limited time and use with it, I like it. I'm not crazy about the results I got out of my scanner. Again, going back to scanner talk. 2020 me thought that it was a smart decision to buy a scanner and save some money by not having to scan with the labs. I mean, at the time, I think it was a good decision. Maybe it's time to move on. I don't know. 
I, I think I would still spend a little bit more time uh, on what I can do with my flatbed scanner. I do want to try a negative lab pro, which I've not tried before. Uh, if you have experience with it, let me know. I would love to pick your brain. But yeah, anyway, I think I've rambled enough. Got a gold, I dig the price more than anything. It's a decent firm stock. Otherwise, I do need to spend more time you know, shooting more rolls to comment any further. Uh, there is an excellent video about it from Mr. Woolly Sheepskin, though. I mean, if you like to see how this film stock looks pushed to 1600 against, you know, shooting it at box speed, I'll link it in the description below in case you haven't seen it already. But yeah, that's been it. Take care. Thank you for giving me your time. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.